I personally prefer circlet, for instance. Anyway, uh, PTR attempt was nice, but now we're on W3A and the level generally a little higher here for at least still. And uh, whatever we face, whomever we face, we're going to give it our all. That's the serious Saturday that we uh, are doing here. So I consider this kind of the first game of the day since the rest was on PTR. We do have to get adjusted again to the new zoom level. I have to move my webcam back over the portrait instead of over the uh, the bricks which aren't there anymore. Why is he playing noobs? Because you're not online currently, uh, Drew86. But feel free to show me the way. So I'm against an undead right now on Lost Refuge. Mm, I feel like creeping is important on this map. I'll try to become unassailable and focus on creeping and getting my heroes to high level. The main goal for me will be not to die. Rather than over committing to harass and trying to kill them early, I will focus on creeping a lot. Yeah, today aren't going to be any torrents or pit lords. Tell me you won the tournament, man. I won. I won the tournament, man. I won the old school tournament, man. Thank you, Terry Munir. You, you think I could cast if I am ever tired of streaming? Oh. I like streaming though. No, I don't think I'll be adding that tournament to the amount of tourneys I won. It's pretty much an estimate anyway. Uh, there is no news about uh, any possible W3 remastered. Yeah, we have no idea if that will ever become a thing. So if you looked for that news and didn't find, that would be why. Uh, Brodexius. How come W3 admins are so lazy? Uh, we really don't know their life, right? We just know the result. The result is that W3A banning everyone is not great. Right, but we don't know their life, so I, I don't know that I can call them lazy. As for why they aren't committing to it, if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably because they know that there's a new patch coming out, so that soon whatever work they do will be undone. That could be why. Maybe that's why. But it's just a guess, right? I don't think they ever earned anything or a lot from this... Uh, from this client so probably be unfair to call them lazy when everything basically has been charity to uh to players i really doubt if they ever made a cent of it more than that i would like to ask how much they lost on it how much money they spent on it who are they banning that's the thing they're banning everyone so that's not great right they're banning everyone who signs up for an account on this uh in an uh, ill-fated attempt to um in an ill-fated attempt to uh, to prevent hacking, they're just banning everyone and allowing legit users to message them. Yeah, I don't think that's the way to go. But that's how they're doing it. No, I don't have mirror image. It's a wand of illusion. The gloves of haste is so useful for creeping. I can really tell the extra damage. Yes, 
I'd say he probably goes here or to the Merc camp. Excellent choice. Huh? And if he doesn't, then what? Stop, I am yours. Hey. What would he have done? Yes, Maybe his shop? Oh wow, he did this one? Oh, not yet. Good, I'm here right on time. Excellent choice. Tours. Oh, he coiled it though. Thought we were gonna have a T Tours moment. He spent a lot of mana on that, so that's quite nice for me. This is like to make them cast more bloodlust. Okay, I think it's time to switch to creeping. Interesting, rune bracers, nice. At this time you really don't want to spend too much resources on um, like items and stuff. Invul, invul is generally right before you get ready to fight. But if I were to get that now, it would be bad. Because uh, now I'd like to make long-term investments, not short-term. It will delay like my TC, that kind of thing. I'm gonna give everything to Blade. Maybe circle it to Shadow. You know what? I did not realize that I already made Torn Chieftain. I, th I thought I still had to. <laughs> I'm kind of happy with that. I was like, damn, how do I ever get money for it? I'm gonna get my uh, fortified defenses now. I'm gonna give the ring actually to TC, as well as the uh, Invil. Now an invul is fine. I'm gonna put one P on to mine from there, kind of as an advance warning. Gonna get a dust in case of dust of appearance. I mean, uh, Baroque Crypheans. One more raider. Uh, I'm gonna make an armor upgrade. Don't attack him until he runs away. That way you don't get shockwave too much. Just once, and in a poor direction usually. Let's strengthen int, great on TC. Oh, 
Uh, Berserkers. Endurance Aura. He's skyping for Expo. At this point, it gets pretty risky to be around without TP, so I'm gonna get one. And then I'll go into a chokehold so that I can buy TP and, and escape. Um, I'm also gonna get Lightning Orb because of recent developments. And then I'll just TP home after this camp. He will be revealed in a second. I'm gonna dust this. And dust this as well. I mean, not dust, solve. A nice pendant. I'm gonna TP to this. What a hero fight, sir. I had so many uh, protection on my units, and he still coiled everything to death. Feels bad, man. I did creep a lot, so if I get everything back, I have a decent chance. Can you believe it? Like. I had health sound, greater heal potion, greater invul. We need more gold. I'll just wait till my hero's back. I even think like he didn't uh, do it that special, I suppose. Like his coils were like it seems like I just had time to heal. I don't know. It, it didn't feel that special. But maybe I made some obvious mistakes. I guess I had a small army. And I lost my Kodo right away. Your command. 
down. Yes, Lord. I am yours. Can I help you? Yes, we're under attack. Man. Yes, Lord. Are you here? Yes, I am yours. Yes, Lord. Excellent choice. I guess most of the things are correct. What you want? Say the word. What task is there? Level 5 DK with war drums and it's... Look at that lich. Plus 27. Oh me oh my. Type Gruppy in chat if you think he did well in that fight. You just focus here as like a madman. I am yours. We need more coal. What task is there? Yes, we need something. What would you ask of me? What yes, task is there? Oh, say no. yes, sir. Yes, I am yes, yours. Chieftain. What task is there? Need something. Ready. I am yours. What yes, task is there? Say the word. Absolute choice. Yes. Are you here? Something. Direct my Man. What task is there? Hmm. Something need doing. Okay. Oh. Yes, chieftain. You do I know what you want me to do? Say something. Yes, Lord. Say the word. What task is there? Oh. Direct my blade. Absolute choice. Does he have expansion or what? This doesn't make sense. He's losing everything. I need to see this replay. Absolute choice. Who 
be my next big death. What path is there? I am yours. Maybe it's bad. Then why am I losing? Yes. What would you ask maybe you're bad too. Work. Yeah, maybe. Maybe everyone is bad. Yes. I can do that. Yes, Lord. Hello. I am yours. Yes. Direct my blade. Oh. Excellent choice. Hey. Are you hero and obey? Yes. Hey. What task is there? I need to kill his statues. He's always full mana. I don't think uh, Tiny Grey Tower expansion is going to cut it for me. I'll just have too big of a gap in my everything. Say the word. Just in case people were wondering. Yes! Are you hero and obey? Yes! So many destroyers. Yes, ready to ride. I am yours. Charge! Yes, Lord. Order. Good job, Peter. Go find him, you man. I see you. I am yours. Yes, Lord. Excellent choice. GG oh. Please excuse my negativity in the game It's a frustration born from losing And a lack of understanding about why it's so hard Because I feel like the game went perfectly for me But maybe he feels the same We both creep a lot and uh, I mean I'm happy that we won But I feel like I had the perfect items to keep my heroes alive and still couldn't keep them alive. That's the thing that frustrated me. Why my heroes die? I guess that's his strength, right? And he had good items as well. We're gonna watch the replay because there's a lot to learn here, I think. Okay, let's take a look. He must have had some XP tone. There's no way his DK gets level 5 that fast. No XP time. Okay, there's a few things to point out. Thanks for the subs, guys. Nikon Rossio, Fluffer Nut. Nice. And Furfy5. Uh, there's a few things I want to note about his play. His Rot of Necromancy Skeleton Scouting is not as good as that of Happy or 120. Ooh, yeah, best players in the world, right? For Undead, so... Uh, he didn't really know what I was up to too much in the early game. But I have to be a little critical of this. His Dust of Appearance usage and Coil Denial on my creep steals. It was pretty premature, the Coils, but the Dust and the Protection generally was good. However he needed it, it was a safe way to play it. So, credit where credit is due regarding that. His Wall Off is good. His Building Positioning is good also. 
then he got a uh, mantle of intelligence this is a pretty big deal on the lich as you can see uh, his creeping is pretty constant you don't want to do nothing for a long period of time and he didn't um, he gets the orb and another gloves of haste so his lich has a lot of damage Then he got this. I think he got an XP Telmere. It's just my theory that he must have had at least one. Uh, Warsong Battle Drums is obviously a huge benefit to Focus Fire. He's got one attack upgrade. A lot of cool items on the Lich that already give him plus 21. The War Drums is a part of that as well. This must be the XP Telmere. Wait. Oh no, it drops on the Ogre. But he didn't get it. It's just a myth in my head. Tome of Strength. Pretty constant creeping. Got the replenishment potion. Drank it. Got this Dark Ranger. Nice food planning. Five Fiends, two statues. Six Fiends, two statues. And another Ziggurat on demand. On queue. So this is a very powerful attack timing. Good timing generally. He's level 431. He's got 50 food, one attack and he's ready for destroyers so it's pretty textbook everything like in a good way so he's 54 food basically and i'm still 50 i'm languishing at 50 i'm gonna tp in after losing shop so i don't have shop for defense he has mana on destroyer but he didn't activate the orb of annihilation yet so he's not wasting mana on voodoo lounge or burrow so that's another good play and he turns it on during the fight one can imagine right right now he's turning it on so you'll see it costs 25 per hit and it's purple yeah see it's purple so he turned it on pre-fight just like you would want to i then tp in with a very unoptimal uh location uh, he gets a triple silence on all my heroes and he kills the coda beast immediately he also drops a healing ward which heals a percentage every second even if i kill it relatively fast it still pulls my shadow out of position it's uh, another hit it's micro and heals a little bit from it. So just straight up, he's level 431. And I am 3.9, 3.7, 2.6. So none of that extra XP matters yet. Furthermore, although I'm making a head into a raider, they're not done yet. And again, I don't have the shop. So it definitely is the 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 difficulty of the entire game definitely was nestled in this initial fight where the Kodo dies instantly. Keep in mind, I have upgraded war drums. So that 20% bonus damage that everyone has instantly evaporates. Goes from plus 20 to plus 11 on my blade master, for instance. My head tinters drop down from plus five to plus nothing. Pretty big deal. And then focus fire. I mean, I have nothing. There's nothing focusing for me. My army just got really small. One Grunt is attacking a DK. One Raider is attacking a Fiend. One Raider is attacking a Lich. And one Grunt is attacking a Crypt Fiend. As much as I, I guess, disrespected how he was focusing my heroes. He probably could disrespect me right back. How I kept healing ward alive for 5 seconds instead of killing it right away. And how my units were generally uncoordinated. Or how my TP grouped up my heroes. There's always two sides to the story and really didn't focus that much on that during the game. Very lucky survival there on the shadow. And then next hero. Finally I killed my first unit and leveled up once. And just focusing. His skeletons do much, they're attacking a uh, headhunter. The ghouls do much, they're attacking a raider. That's the correct damage types. Everything what he has is mostly doing what it should be doing. I am attacking his destroyers with my headhunter, so that's nice. But it's just insane how much uh, DPS he has. This lich is a freaking machine gun. And this was insane, 22 HP. This is what it came down to. 22 HP TC coming away. Thanks, R Ring of Protection, I guess. And then luckily I got the XP from this mostly. From the kills that I got. I did actually get that many kills after. Alright, I'm 42 foot, he's 42. Question mark. Should he have gone back? Answer, no. 
he thinks the red spot is still available. And this one and this one. He's right only about this orange camp. So he's going for a value creep camp before it becomes difficult and contested. Had he scouted for this earlier, he could have completely discarded this line of questioning. He's at 42 food with a statue with triple hero against a single hero's hurt. His leaving now sealed the deal. Even if I got lucky on my TC living, he wastes time on checking two camps that one unit could have done the job of scouting. And then finally he gets the consolation prize and that finally gives him near level 5. He goes over 50 foot immediately, despite a conclusion to our fight not happening immediately yet. He gets DK5 but didn't pull it away, denying a little bit of experience on Lich and Dark Ranger but not a huge deal. He lets me train two heroes entirely from the altar before ever fighting me again. And then, crucially, he comes in with four destroyers with mana, removing his healing from mana and health, going for the shop all in, not getting it by the way, and letting all his destroyers get focus fired by two sets of burrows. A horrible mistake. Trying to kill my heroes and luckily, boom, healing potion nearly lost his Dark Ranger and he just loses three destroyers essentially for free and then uh, we don't need to watch the rest it was fresh in our memory but that's pretty insane or do you guys want to watch the rest what watch the rest so he stays around but crucially now he doesn't have obsidian statue for a while he tries to look for a target and it, essentially it all came down to killing a single head into <laughs> Again, he goes over 50 food, which I barely ever did. So he gets a little bit less gold than I did. Again, doesn't pull away DK while creeping a small camp, slightly denying experience to his secondary and tertiary hero. He threw game. Mm, I don't like that term, throw game. It's so, uh, it's so simplistic. Not to say that it never happens, but any game that goes longer than 10 minutes is thrown five times by both players and it, it's such a uninteresting and unlearning way of looking at games uh, people uh, talk about this in every game oh it's a throw it's a throw how about just saying what it is he made a mistake at minute x and it led to him not winning the game at minute x after that he had chances again so did i but because of xyz uh, the game ended how it ended Throw is so minimalistic. Yeah, it takes away everything from everyone when you call it that. Let's talk about good plays and bad plays or mistakes or misjudgments. So much more interesting. At this point, he should have been focusing Kodo, I would say. Whereas my TC is lucky to get... Y -A -A -Y. Oh my god. Yay! It's lucky to survive. I thank you. Been following since the days of WC replays. Favorite streamer and really enjoyed the interview with Matt Morris. Looking forward to the future of our beloved WC3. Keep up the great content, mate. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I hope to uh, bring more new content to you in that vein as well. Like the interview with Matt Morris, would not mind doing that again, uh, if you if you like that. This was key. We got so many units here. And he's got one more coil. He just lost a bunch of, of units. Again, I don't feel like he should back up. It's it's a bit iffy. But keep in mind, this is what he knows. He's got half-life on his DK with TP. He's got full life on Lich and Dark Ranger. Three Crypt Fiends. A statue is arriving. He's 45 food. Gold is running low soon. He's got units in production. What he knows is that my TC just ran away with one HP to the left. God knows where. But still split off from my army. What he knows is that I'm going to Clarity Potion now. And Healing Solve. What's to stop him from staying at the edge of my base he no longer has destroyers that will get ensnared and killed by burrows i feel like he should lay chase 
add a bit of damage, keep up the pressure, and most importantly, keep me split from TC. Alternatively, he could have also opened the stream and see that TC was here, or <laughs> try to get joking, or try to guess it. But yeah, maybe he would think that I staff of Talit at the shop. But just allowing me to regroup really helped me in particular. Greetings, friend. Eight days late, but better late than never. Have my sub, you amazing person. Thank you very much, uh, Tan Taco. Appreciate it, man. Six months. Uh, I really don't like his decision to double Destro morph. First of all, he didn't... Uh, I feel like it's a mistake, maybe. A misclick. He still needs the mana, first of all, and he doesn't have it. Secondly, it pushes him over 50 food again. He really doesn't put a lot of faith into 50 food management for extra gold. It's gonna be a base race, basically. A gold rush, as it were. And he really doesn't respect the upkeep barrier as much as I do. I'm still at 50. I'm saving up. Trying to scout and He should do the same thing. Maybe he figures he's going over with statue anyway, but I still feel like it's not a good choice. Good sense by him to check for expansion. Now let's see how he uses the skeleton. Smartly he checks uh, other bases. Good move. And again, double morph destroyer. He did eat all the mana. And now he has a really scary uh, army of uh, four destroyers. And how did he get enough food for that, actually? What? Oh, he must have cancelled something, possibly. I don't know. Five destroyers with mana. I would have liked him to see... I would have liked to see him, like, scout first to make sure that this is a good attack. Greetings, friend. Again, he gets the Kodo right away. Really bad move by me. I struggled with the position here. The TC is also stuck. But what helped me is having Burrows again, helping against destroyers. Our goal is <laughs> Got some value stumps here, finally. Ah. Uh, Blade came back too soon. I just had healing again, but I misplayed that one. Wah. He wasn't quick enough to devour magic to speed scroll, so I got some good value from the positioning and the movement speed. I could have had a baby in this time. Keep up the great streams, Grubby. Hey, I don't ask as much from you, basket case. I may cry a little sometimes about uh, other races. But at least I don't suck. Ah, oh, finally got the Hex War Stomp on the DK. Our hero has been killed. And that's gonna be game. 